So I'm going to take zero from the mini stiletto. So there's mini stiletto and there's mini sculpted stiletto. Both of them have different shapes. This is mini stiletto. So if I put it all the way to the back, you can see it's almost the same size as my real nail, especially from the side. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply it roughly three fourths of the way down, about right there. And you can apply it with either press on gel or with DIY gel. And then you can cut it, you can trim it, you can reshape it, you can do whatever your heart desires. So let's get some DIY gel. And so I won't have to blend so, so much. I'm gonna take 150 file. I'm gonna blend that cuticle down super thin because I wear my nails really thick. I love a lot of Wonder Gel and a lot of Shiny on my nail. So that way I don't have to blend so much. I'm gonna do this prior. pre-etched as well so you don't need to do anything. Let's apply DIY gel on the inside. Make sure it's side to side. Nice and even. And let's get our flashy lamp ready as well. I have peel off base coat on my nail already too. And let's apply. About right there. Beautiful. Look at that, she stays in place. She doesn't go anywhere, isn't that dope you guys? Press down firmly, make sure there's no bubbles. Pon las, no es un favorzote. Le hablas a mi mamá que venga ahorita como para las siete. Sí, porque no me estoy haciendo una uña. Please. Beautiful. So now we're gonna bake this for one minute inside the dazzling darling lamp. know what to do if you have the larger phalanges but you want to wear a shape that sometimes doesn't fit your nail. You apply it like this. Yes, I love me a good fake gel manicure. Actually, I shouldn't tell you guys this because then everyone's going to be asking me all the time but I am so bad at keeping secrets is that we're actually making a third gel top coat and um, it's going to be really, really thick, and it's no wipe, and I'm obsessed. It's like, I wouldn't necessarily say builder gel thickness, but it's probably a little bit thinner than press-on gel, so it's quite thick, and I just love it so much. Glittery hugs to you as well. Love me a good flash of you guys were so close. If we reach 150 views, we're going to do a giveaway at the end of the video. So like and share and post it in your favorite nail group. Let everybody know we're live. We're going to use our fantastic file. Oh, thank you. Make sure those sides are nice and straight. I'm using fantastic file in 150. So we're gonna take our nail drill and blend it right here, okay? 
No secrets with Max. No, I'm horrible at keeping secrets. Don't tell me anything because I'll probably tell the world. We're going to use our Goldie Wands. Our Goldie Wand bits. Actually, well, maybe I should tell you now that I've already started spilling all the, all the secrets. We already started working on our Christmas and our Halloween stickers. They're going to come in sets. Well, there's only going to be one set and each one will have five. And I'm right now debating on when to release them and when to launch them. If I should launch them in August or in September. Buffer and remove the shine off the tip surface. the cuticle one more time so that way the gel we're going to use to overlay will be all the way to the back and I'm going to use a pink number one today which is a really beautiful semi sheer lip glossy strawberry esque pink so beautiful You guys need to check out the A pink. I feel like sometimes the girls are sleeping on them, but they're so incredible. So I'm gonna turn the hat upside down just for a few seconds to let it self level out. I know they're gay. Not necessarily because the layer of A pink is super thin, but what it does is it evens it out. So if I was doing this, let's say to wear or on a client, um, I would blend the tip down a lot better but since I'm going to pop it off it's okay but you can see it's pretty well blended and the one two three go is already really strong if you're really hard on nails I would do this with um, uh, a nice even layer of uh, press on gel Awesome. I love Press on Gel. She is such a game changer. And then the color we're going to use is BB55 from The Real Diamonds. Exactly. So we're going to take BB55. And when you want a really heavy glitter application, what you do is you apply the glitter almost like if you're applying a builder gel so kind of cushion it push it up against the cuticle and then feather it out through the whole nail I'm 
Look at that. So stunning. And this is made with real diamond particles. That's why she is so sparkly. I'm going to take a little bit more and just feather it onto the nail just to get a heavier glitter application. Into the hand upside down for a few seconds. Look at that, so stunning. What do you guys think of this color? Isn't it beautiful? And the nail is like super blended, it's all the way to the back. Let's bake that for. You would bake it for one minute, but for vi the video purposes, we're only going to bake it for 60 seconds. I mean, 30 seconds, I'm sorry. But you need to bake it for at least one minute to ensure everything is dry really well. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. I love a full glitter nail. Yes. And then with some diamonds on top, you already know, killing the game. Even inside the lamp, it looks so pretty. It's BB55 from the Real Diamond Collection. So we're going to take a little bit of shiny. And we're going to seal the entire nail. Because we're going to use Squeezy today to put on the diamonds. We're gonna use Diamond Holic. We're gonna use Diamond Holic 51 and 52 today. Why aren't you getting notifications on the live anymore? Like this. One minute. I want to make sure that shiny is dry all the way through before we go in with the famous squeezy. Brillo y más brillo. Nunca puede tener suficiente una. We're going to apply our diamond today with our tweezers too. No, I don't think so. Do you guys still get notifications? Because we actually, as far as I know, there is, uh, I don't think there's any supporters that subscribe to that. So let me know if anybody else is having any issues getting notifications, you guys. Because it shouldn't be notifying um, certain people first. Everybody should be notified at the same time. We're going to use... Oh, look at these, you guys. They're so beautiful. What's your favorite sticker right now? Oh my gosh. All the ones with bad words. All the cheeky stickers. Natural mixed in uh, one, two, three, go look. I'm 
we're going to use also some of the flatbacks in here too. So something that I had uh, mentioned to you guys before too that was really weird was that when I was going live on my personal page, which is the one I would go live on for years, pretty much, um, towards uh, recently, I want to say maybe like a month or two, I noticed a, a huge decline in the amount of views. And I was like, what's going on? And that was because Facebook wanted me to go live through the business page, which is this one. And I have noticed that uh, more people are uh, engaging than when I was uh, on my personal page. And before it was the complete opposite. So we're gonna go in with some squeezy gel. And we're going to apply squeezy over the entire phalange. We're gonna put the big diamond, make sure you apply a little bit more squeezy. The great thing about Squeezy is that she is white free. But if you're gonna use gummy, you would do gummy, shiny, or wonder gel, and then the rhinestone, and then cure. So on this finger, I did the big pear one. On this finger, we're gonna do um, an AB, and this one we're gonna do it in beige. And these are Diamond Holic 51 and 52. I can pick it up, because it's so large. There we go. Oh, so funny. everything towards the center so that way we can keep the nail as skinny as possible and let's go with our famous diamond tray the one that gives people the heebie-jeebies and we're going to use some of our luxury diamonds And I'm using size 16, size 20. Let's get some of the super small ones in there too. Size four. I hate when they stick together.
What do you guys think? Do you love it? Do you guys love the Maxovsky crystals? That's what I should have called them. Do you guys want to know what I'm what I bleh, what I want to call our new top gel that's coming out later this year? Cutting it crystal jam. Because I think that's fun. What do you guys think of the name Crystal Gel? The other name I was thinking of was um, Crazy Top. Crazy top, crystal gel, honey, honey gel, honey top coat. Pudding gel, pudding gel top coat. Ay, que linda, gracias. Beautiful. Crystal gel. And then we can say, honey, do you want crystal gel? It's better for you. Five dollars more. Beautiful. Look at that, you guys. What do you think? We actually discontinued that pudding gel a long time ago. Well, not long, not yeah, super long, maybe like a year or two. But everybody seems to really love crystal gel, so maybe we'll use that name then. We'll have to wait and see when it comes out. So let's apply a little bit of cotton candy cuticle oil to hydrate the nail. Remember, after the hand comes out of the lamp, we have to wait 10 seconds before we apply oil or else it will dull the nail. That's true, very, very true. And there you have it. What do you guys think? Do you love it? That BB Ombre Real Diamonds collection is so beautiful, though, too. And all of our Diamond Holics are, I mean, you guys, look at that. So stunning, right? This is going to be hopefully a money shot. I wish Facebook would let me choose what uh, screenshot. Oh, what is it called? Thumbnail. I get to have. Sometimes I just have these really weird ones of me, like blinking or looking all crazy. Oh, so beautiful. Well, my love, that's going to wrap it up for today's little demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it on these short little nails, but we blinged them out. She is ready for the club with these. So stay safe, stay out of trouble. Don't forget to take advantage of that flash sale before it ends. And I will see you guys in the next live video. Bye everybody.